I filmed my first YouTube video. It's a little follow along sequence you can do if you feel a bit sore and your back have some mild discomfort, especially after spending a lot of time sitting or standing at work stuck in the same position. If it makes you feel good, please let me know in the comments and please share it with people who you think may benefit as well. In case you have more serious back pain, consider consulting a physical therapist because I guess some random video on the internet will not help you. Excuse the crappy quality, I have an old phone and the light in my house is not the best. Enjoy the little routine and see you next time. Bye! Lie on your back and move your pelvis so you switch between a flat back and an arched back. And then repeat this movement for a couple of times. Next time you reach a flat back, push the hips to the ceiling and then roll back down into a flat back, arch back, flat back and up again with the hips. Try to make this movement as fluid as possible. Use the contact with the floor to really feel how you roll over each vertebrae one after the other. Maybe you need a little bit of practice, but at one point you will have the ability to make this really nice wavy motion with your spine. Once you did as many repetitions as you feel are needed on that day, straighten one leg and hug the knee of the other leg into the chest. The glute and the quad of the straight leg are engaged. The low back is pressed flat into the floor. The aim here is to bring the heel of the straight leg to the floor without losing tension in the straight leg. After 15 to 20 seconds you change the side and repeat. In case you have short hip flexors like I do, it will stretch them a little bit and it will also stretch the low back. Switch the knee again and cross it over your body so you get into a sort of twist. The shoulder on the side of the bent leg stays flat to the floor. Go back and forth dynamically between the twist and the straight body for a couple of times, making sure that the shoulder really stays in place. Again switch sides and repeat this exercise. If you can go deeper than me, no problem. Touch the knee to the floor on the other side of your body. But make sure that your shoulder really stays in contact with the floor as well. Once you did the same amount of repetitions on this side, hug your knees into your chest, roll a little bit from side to side, and then roll up to a sitting position. Come onto all fours for waking up your wrists a little bit. Make small circles in one direction and in the other. And when you're finished, you're gonna do some cats and cows. So with an exhale you go into cat and with an inhale you go into cow. Repeat this for as many times as you feel are needed on a given day. And when you're done, reach one hand behind your head. From there, twist the elbow to the ceiling and then twist the elbow to the hand that is still supporting you on the floor. You open up at the inhale and you exhale when you twist down. After a couple of repetitions, you change sides and repeat. Once you've finished, sit back into child's pose. If you feel comfortable, you can lift your gaze, slide the hands forward and stretch your chest and shoulders and upper back. Breathe calmly through your nose and stay for however long you feel comfortable.